What's going on world? Thank you guys for tuning in to A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt some of the connections despite our differences. We are members of the Culture Club and what we're going to do is from our right to our left, introduce ourselves stating your name, your zodiac sign, and one wish that you have. My name is Sheldon, I'm a Cancer, and the wish that I have is for world peace. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. I know, it's like a tree. <laughs> Uh, my name is Tehran, and um, I'm a Gemini, and my one wish is that Donald Trump drop out the race. That's not gonna happen. But okay, <laughs> that's all we wish. Yeah, that's not a wish. That's a wish. My name is Dale, and my wish is that myself and all of my friends become successful and prosperous and independently wealthy. Yes, yes. I love that one. Um, my name is Wesley. I'm a Leo, the best sign in the world, and my wish would be that I wish everyone was bisexual but because we wouldn't have to worry about gay, homo, uh, homophobia, hate bashing, gay bashing. You know, you can't walk out in the street, be yourself. You, you know, if everybody was bisexual, no one would care about any of that sexual stuff, so. Hi, my name is Dwayne. I'm a Taurus, which is actually the best sign. And uh, my one wish is that racism really didn't exist. Okay. Sorry, Grand Apple. <clears throat> um, TC, I am a Libra, the best sign. And uh, my one wish is to <laughs> hit the lottery. Just a million dollars. That's, uh, that's just, just a million. Just, just one? I can invest it in something. <laughs> Trust me. I can do a lot with a million. So did, did the uh, Powerball, is the Powerball still passed? No, nope. 500 million. Uh, somebody wanted it. Somebody won it. Who? What state? Uh, New, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Woo! Low. I know. What would you do with five hundred million dollars? You just said you just wanted a million, but what would you do with five hundred million? Going to hide everything. Going to hiding, <laughs> vacation every day, just see the tour the world. I don't and think nobody would know if I won the one lottery. Right? Is that? I would, I would. I don't know. You if, you live in, if you live in you the state of one, Florida, you have to be different you, laws. You have no, to be, no. You, you, can have have a, you can have a representative. Right. I mean, but they can. They I think they still have to tell your name. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. And I gotta do is Google. But you, you can do like all your pages. You can do like a first initial. Or you can go anything like that. That's yeah. why you go in with the wig on and like some makeup. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right. Uh -huh. That part. Trust me. As soon as I hit, y'all can each one of y'all can get a text message. Everybody getting a text message. Check your bank account. Oh, y'all probably just gonna get a text message from the bank. Here's here's the money. I love y'all. Have a good life. I'm glad we got oh, this recorded. Thank you. I, 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 <laughs> if I win five hundred if I win five hundred million. If I win a million, you ain't get shit. <laughs> you, oh. get a, you get a party. <laughs> but a million dollars is stuff. You can do a lot with a million. No, a million is for me. Can we at least get a thousand? No. Five? No. 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 <laughs> I just read an article yesterday. This this NBA draft or NFL draft uh pick. His whole family has blown through one point eight million dollars in ten months. That's you ain't get my money. That, that is that's, that's, stupid. That's, that's stupid. That's, that's, that's his fault. That's, yeah, because I mean, there's ways of definitely doing that, but that's like for what though? I feel like a million of that was probably but like, like uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali um, son just left his family or something. Like after he got the money from his father dying, like the son mm. it seemed like a, an extra marriage or. Mm. Some son, like he just left his family. Once that's he got the money, that's, wow. that's, that's terrible. terrible. <laughs> that's that's terrible. terrible. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. Unless it was, I mean, we don't know his situation with his family. No, I mean, uh, they're for him when he went broke. Maybe it was like, well, yeah. true. This is true. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he left him something before he just dipped. Oh, I'm sure right. he did. He left some dip. So a lot of a lot of you guys have uh, sent in quite a few comments. Um, some of you saying that we love Sheldon. Sheldon can't leave the Culture Club. Some of you guys saying Beard Gang, Tehran, Beard Gang. Some of you wondering why he wears. Can you explain why you wear dashikis? Are you African? So, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> So here's my thing. For one, in 2016, dashikis are more of a fashion statement. However, they became popular in the 1960s um, during the Civil Rights Movement when men, people used dashikis as a form of a protest. 
So men would wear them. Um, back then the suits were still a little fitted and stuff. So they would wear loose, bright colored dashikis in a form of protest against African Americans. So black people in the 60s made dashikis popular in the United States as a form of protest. And I feel, besides the fashion part, there's so much that's going on in the United States against black men and black people in general that I'm going to use the dashiki as a form of fashion, but also in my head, and if people ask, as a form of a public protest. All right. So there, there y'all go, see? God damn. <laughs> and I have a lot of them. Long, short, bright, dark, Flowy, flowy, <laughs> twirly. Yes, swing. Okay, I just say one thing about that she is. Um, I can understand both sides because I understand what you're saying and I believe what you say. I choose not to wear that cheeky because my friends who are African, they feel like it's a, it's a disgrace to what it represents because each thing has a symbol, the color, mm -hmm. the design. And when you don't know what it represents, you're kind of you can't say that you're marketing something when if a white person do it, you know, what's it called? Culture? Appropriate. Whatever it's called. But it's kind of the same thing even though you're black. But I think that as people, why care? Let people be happy. If someone's not hurting you, then it don't matter. But really, Africans have a way, the way that they feel about African Americans is different than what people really think. They really have issues with African Americans. They, I agree with that, and they really do. Not all. Not all, but the Not ones who come, that. they'll tell me some stuff, but like, you're the ones that got caught. Or you're the one who let the white man do all this, thing, uh, you and you don't stand up for yourself. I'm like, well, I just want to go to school. I didn't, know I, was, <laughs> I didn't know I was doing all that. But I understand their point of view, and I can respect it, whether I agree with it or disagree with it, but I understand what they, their belief or what it is, but if someone want to worry something, let them worry. Yeah, I mean, I could see if like, you know how I feel like a lot of, it was trendy to get those Chinese symbols on the arm? And we say, we think, oh, this stands for peace. And the Chinese people are like, no, baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> that don't stand for no peace. That's not what that symbol means. But for African Americans, we're called African Americans for a reason. So we feel tied to the African culture. They don't have to feel, they're not called, they're not called American Africans. <laughs> You know, they don't have any any real ties to the United States. And the ties that they do have is is one of anguish and 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 turmoil and sadness. So I mean I can understand why they would not really get us. So if someone walked up to you and was like if someone African walked up to you and was like, I think you're disrespecting me right now, I need you to take that off. What would be your response? I would probably take it off. Really? I would give them my my reasonings why I would wear it, but mm -hmm. if they feel that I don't, it's not that serious to me. Okay. Like, I mean, how would you guys respond, TC? I mean, it's a, it's a culture thing. Um, I mean, some people wear it for design. You know, it, it's it's like wearing Calvin Klein or Fubu. You know, when, especially when Fubu came out, it was like, oh. Don't worry if you don't know what it means. I mean, it's 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 for one, it's a fashion thing. Two, sometimes it's a culture thing. You know, if Dale feels you know connected to it and he likes the designs of it and he's really been studying, you know, what they mean. No, you cannot walk up to me and tell me. I mean, I, this is not a fraternity. I, I I'm not paying to be in it. This is not exclusive. You know, it's it's. No, you no. So you wouldn't take it up? Hell no. Nah. Nah. I would give you my pay, I would give you my PayPal account, uh, email, <laughs> and you can deposit money to my account. <laughs> that part. Right. <laughs> so if you want me to take it up, you, you can contribute to my clothing fund. Oh my! Are you all that like, man? It's my culture. You're disrespecting my culture. Then like, hold your ass. Yeah. The, the issue I have with all that the the, the Africans that come to America that have issues with America. But you're in America. Right. You're going to schools in America. Right. You have a job in America, but right. you have issues with Americanization. Right. But you're in America, and that's how I met you, because I'm not in Africa. I just don't get that sometimes. Sometimes, right. like, they, they, I'm not being, <laughs> but sometimes people would say something like, I don't get why you feel such a hatred towards African Americans or America, but you're in America. You enrolled to take American school, I enrolled there. 
Right. So what's your issue? But that's not just Africans. I have some yeah. Puerto Rican friends. Some who Europeans. Do that. Some Europeans that do. Man, America just. You moved here. But right. what you said is like when people who are Puerto Rican like, I you're American, right? <laughs> but sometimes they portray themselves that they're not even American. I'm like I'm confused now because or or, or there or that there's no part of African ancestry in, in your their blood. blood. Yeah. Okay, so then, then I have another question. Talking about all this and how we how we want to be perceived and what we want to be called and labeled as African, Black, Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban, Dominican, all these different types. Like, do you think, and this is a question that I pose to Jamaicans and Africans, and some said, hell no. Um, do you think that Jamaicans or Africans are Black? Do you think that they should be called Black because they are Black or that they should be called Jamaican? or Haitian or African because that's what they are. Because I've asked a couple of them and they said I'm not black, I'm Haitian. It depends on the question you're that's asking. The nationality. Yeah, well nationality is the country that they associate with. Right. We're Americans, that's our nationality. Right. Our race is black, but our culture is African American. So when you depend on how you ask the question of what you ask a question depends on the answer. But regardless, we're black. Everybody who's not white, they're black. But there's different degrees within that. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. But, you, but no one would, no one no would one tell you that. that. Yeah, they're not going to be like, they're going to be like, what, what, no. But that's what the race is. Like, because when you say black, they're thinking African American. But no, it's everything that's non-white. That's what black right. means. And, and me, it. me moving to Florida really opened my oh eyes my up yeah. to to the different. Um, cultures and nationalities, you know, that we live in. I mean, coming from Mississippi, it was white, black, uh, Mexican, and a few Chinese that came over for like programs at school or whatever. But moving here, you have so many, you have, um, it's not, you know, just Latino, it's not Mexican, it's Puerto Rican, Virgin Island, you know, it's Virgin Island, Asian, it's Haitian, it's Creole, I mean, it's, 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 it's so many nationalities, so you have to really open your mind up and say, okay, well, you're Haitian. You were born in Haiti. You know, you you model yourself a, a, after being a um, you know Haitian. You know, let me respect it. You're not black. You know, it's it's just yeah something. It's, 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 it's something to really learn. But only well, I, my dad is Jamaican. My mom is black. But I don't. I was not raised with my dad's family, so I don't. I don't call myself Jamaican. Like even though I'm half Jamaican, I don't count that as a part of me because I wasn't raised in that surrounding or with the heritage or anything like that. So I call myself black anytime you ask me. Yes, part of me is Jamaican, but I wasn't raised around that. So I don't really know their cultures or anything like that. So I will never say I'm Jamaican because if you're Jamaican and then you come to me with something, I'm gonna be like, I have no idea what to do. But what you just <laughs> said goes back to before when it's like you have one ounce of black blood, then you're black. But then also people are like, whatever your mom is, that's what you are. So if your mom is this, regardless of what your dad is, your dad can be white and Asian, but if your mom black, you're black. But really, at the point in time, whatever you say you are, if you say you black and I know for sure you're not black, then you black. I'm, I, I'm not gonna argue with you. Is Rachel black to you? Huh? Is it Rachel black to you? Sure if she says she's black and she wanna deal with those issues of being a black woman in America, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. congratulations to her. <laughs> I see black as the skin tone, not, a cultural thing. Really? That's, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I don't know. I just I just brought that out there just to, to have a conversation, cause, uh, conversation about it because a lot of people get offended. Like I, I knew someone that was Jamaican got offended when I said that you're black. They got a, they got a whole, it was a whole mess. It was a whole mess. But I want to uh, change change the topic uh, all the way around and talk about abortion. <laughs> um, and I know it's what? What? what, what about abortion? Yeah, I go all to the, to the left, to the left. I want to talk about abortion because none of us can have babies here. And, um, not not, yet. Yeah, well, okay. And, um, <laughs> and so... What? <laughs> <and so, laughs> that could have went so many places. <laughs> right. Um, I'm not. Right. Study cases coming soon. And so, <laughs> not, not, I haven't, I didn't grow up around a lot of females and a lot of women and, you know, whole the menstrual and periods and 
bleeding out the pussy and all that stuff. I don't know anything about it's all of that. Bleeding out in the pussy. <laughs> it's, right. it's an extra hole, but go ahead. Well, well you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you know specifically, I don't know anything about that. I thought you were about to say it's bleeding out the butthole, but I didn't, I'm like, what? Okay, but anyway, it's on the problem. Somebody oh, no. walking in the house. Right. Um, so that's, that's, what do you, do you guys think that females, and I wish we had a female on the panel, had the right, or have the right, to have an abortion? Well, ask you. You got the mic. Um, wait, no, no, wait, for real. It's, it's something to think about because right. abortion, it, it, it's a touchy su subject. And yeah. of course, living here, living yeah. living everywhere, I mean, they are boycotting, boycotting abortion clinics. They are taking, you know, rights away, you know, they're saying it's, it's not ethical, it's not Christian-like, it's not, you know, um, it's, um, uh, What's your belief? Is the question. Next. Uh, yeah, it, 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 yeah. Uh, you got the mic. You got the mic. Um, uh, okay, so number one, like I, not female, so I can I can never like understand what it is to have a life inside of me. So, my cho I'm pro choice, just only because I've seen like. Pregnancies that end and like everybody's happy being married and I've heard like happy childhoods, but I've also seen the opposite where people are struggling and the child is neglected, all kinds of things. So I'm pro choice. If you don't believe you can have and nurture a child, don't have it. Right. Interesting. Okay. I believe that the only time abortion is okay is if you were raped and had no no ability to stop what was actually going into your vagina and giving you know doing all of that if you were raped then i believe that you should have the ability to have an abortion but if you just decided to lay on your back your side your stomach cross open your legs and let a man go inside you yeah. without a condom and jer ejaculate inside those walls and then give you life then no, you should not be having an abortion. You should not have an Because you knew at that particular moment what your financial situation was for him, her, whoever. And even if it was a one night stand, you know what you're doing. You're an adult. Take responsibility. Yeah. So you're still pro, that means you're pro-choice. Only if the person was raised. There's no. There's, that's a, my thing. That's for me. You can't be kind. That's a contradiction. Wow. That's yeah. not a contradiction. I, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely pro-choice. Um, when people were, when abortion was illegal, they were doing it anyway, but they were doing it in a very unsanitary, unsafe way. At the hotel. Rooms. At the hotel and the and, and basements with hangers and mm. you know just just stuff. Mm. So instead of losing two lives, you know, at least this way, you know, it's it's a definitely a much safer method. Um, and for all the same reasons that you mentioned, but there are children who are who willingly sleep with their brother or their uncle or their because they don't know any better and and get pregnant so i don't know so i'm definitely pro-choice i don't think that we have a right to dictate to a woman whether that's i don't think we body. should make that choice for her for her body okay okay what i have to say about that is i think that when people say they're pro-choice first of all we forget that that doesn't mean you're anti-abortion. Right. People right. associate the two and those are not the same. The second thing I would say about, um, I'm pro-choice. However, I believe that the choice is also up to the father. When you think of pro-choice, it never deals with what do the father want. Even though the father is not carrying the baby and the wife, I mean the woman, whoever can always say, oh, it's not his baby. But the father has the right to say so in the situation as well as the female who actually having a baby. Half of the baby is his, half the baby is hers. But nowhere in pro-choice does it ever talk about what the father wants. So, but I'm pro-choice, but I also believe that if you want to have an abortion, go ahead, that's your choice. However, for me, if I'm in that situation that I have been, no, I'm not going to have her have an abortion because that's not what I believe in, but I'm not going to dictate what somebody else should do with their life. Okay. I don't believe in abortions at all. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't believe in abortions at all because I feel like 
that's a baby, that's a, that's a life, that's, a, you know, it's going to grow up be a human being, or whatever it's going to be in life, whatever. But, granted the fact that if you got raped, if you slept with, sleeping with your daddy, uncle, cousin, sister, brother, whatever, <laughs> if you get pretty, you get pretty. You can always give the baby up for adoption. You can always drop them off at a firehouse. What, what we got like 12 days or something like Safe that? Places. Safe, Safe places. Safe places, places, you know, things like that. So, Granted the fact that you might not want this baby, you can always give that baby up. Granted the fact, but that's why I don't believe in abortion. Well, I have oh, a question. Interesting. You know, for TC. So what if they have a disorder? Would you believe in abortion in that situation? Oh. Can you? Because with, with, a lot of, with a lot of inbreeding, they're... Or like now we have Zika virus, yeah. or they have Down syndrome. Do you believe that the parents have a right to abort that child? Or? You mean if the parent has Down syndrome, you no, think they no, don't no, give it to the, the child? Tells the baby, <laughs> tell the baby. that your baby is going to have Down syndrome. Oh, er, early on they could tell you that? Yeah. 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 Way before? Because yeah. you can't have an abortion after a certain period, right? Yeah. Right. I think that like... So before then, you can tell if the child is going to be... Well, there's, the law varies by state of how long you can go before you have an abortion. Every state has different laws, so you can't... Some laws are long So if, you, if you're about to give birth and you're nine months, you can kill it before... No, no that's different. Right, exactly. I'm just saying, so some states, it's for... like three it's months. That's not an abortion. Some states, it's not an abortion. It just varies by state. Very 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 state. You can't go on, like, some states may be three, some may be four, some may be seven. It's just very safe by state. Okay. I thought, doctors I thought can't tell the formation of the video. Within, with the well, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. So, would you abort it if you knew that it was going to have some defect? Oh. Mm. Word choice. What? People get offended with what, stuff defect? like Yes. This defense? What is defense? I'm just saying, people get offended. That's, that's what they call That's what they call it. That's the defense. That's the Listen, I'm just telling y'all what they told me in the past. Don't say this word because I get offended when y'all say this word. That's retarded. That's using retarded or ignorant. Yeah. Defense is a defense is a medical term. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Defense is a medical term. Yeah, it's a defense. Um, yeah, like everybody else said, it, it, it really just depends, um, and, and you really don't know until you're really in that situation. So I, 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 I really can't say... This is the first time TC hasn't given a definitive Cause, response. Because honestly, some people, some people come around here, around, here, run around here with six, seven kids, nine months apart, and I'd be like, why did you have an abortion? Because clearly you, you're struggling. Right, they wait, no. for the, they wait for the income tax. Well, some people are not. Right, that's what they wait for. That part, that part. they it's, get that. It, it, it just really. <laughs> but in some people also, they don't consider that struggling. What you think is struggling to them, that's normal or okay. They may not be able to go travel or buy all the new. I mean, honest, they may not be able to buy all the latest clothes or stuff. But to them, that's normal. They're not struggling. All, all they need is love. That's true, because you don't care. Because most of us are going to go to But some of us grew up in a house. In love, you mean a check. In love, you mean a check. In love, you mean a check. You know, TC about that money. Listen, don't come around TC. No, I'm not talking about money. If you ain't about that money, TC will let you know straight off the rip. If you ain't got it, you ain't about to get it. That's TC will let you know. No, I'm not about money. I just I just know that sometimes it it. People, people just open their legs up too much. Like I had, and this is often what I've seen at church alone. Like a girl I grew up with, she had shit, five kids, each one of them like a year apart. I'm like, just stop. Just at some point, just stop. Not saying that she should have had an abortion, but at some point, just stop. Then we had another girl come off the street. She had kids, and she had like four kids. She holding two of them, and she pregnant. And two of them in the stroller, and she at the church talking about something. I need help. I, I can't pay my I can't pay my utilities. I can't pay my rent. Like at some point, but, like you just gotta. But I'm not saying that you should have an abortion. I I'm, I have a lot of mixed feelings about. But it's kind of hard for a homosexual, bisexual, whatever person to say that way. Being gay is a birth control within itself. If as many times you have sex as a gay man, the probability of you 
having a child would be higher than if you. No, I mean, what are you laughing? If, 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 no, I mean, I'm just. If you could have kids, you gotta think about it. As gay men, everybody who I slept with, how many kids would I have that this None. If you're not strapped up. No. You can be strapped up as a possibility. It's See, wild. my thing is that that goes into that going to another. So uh, you saying condoms are not effective? No, I not, no, they're only ninety nine point nine. So of the two hundred people <laughs> you fucked, two times could have been pregnant. Uh, unless you like, <laughs> unless you like so, my ex that you had got knocked up by her boyfriend pulling off the condom. I'm just being honest. But also, people don't know how to use condom correctly, so that's a whole nother thing. So the. It goes down even further. Great topic. We're gonna come right back <laughs> to this. We're gonna have another member on the couch, and we're gonna dig dive right into this. We need to re up. Let we'll be right back. Explain to the people that weren't able to understand your history with your sister. If you can give us a little brief synopsis of how you came to meet and how that all worked out for the show. Okay, yeah, I met Asia when I was about 15. I was about to turn. I, I was trying to hurt you. All I did was, I came, I didn't want to be nothing. I was so hungover. I was there. There was everything else. Right, I 